Hey, what is up guys? It is Appalling here, and I'm bringing you another gameplay commentary on Bloons Tower Defense Battles. Now, hopefully you guys aren't, like, getting mad at me about this. I hope you guys are enjoying it as much as I do. I've started really, really enjoying this game, and I'm hoping that you guys at least sort of enjoy me playing it, um, being able to watch me play it, because I... I enjoy playing it and I enjoy showing it to you guys. If you are interested and if like this is something that you enjoy, please leave a like or a comment or I, I don't know. A lot of YouTubers say that and the reason is we need to know if you guys actually enjoy this because I don't want to be posting this if nobody wants to watch me play. So just, just let me know in some way or another if you enjoy it or if uh, you think that I should play something else instead. Um, but for now, this is what I'm playing. It's a lot of fun. I'm playing on the same map that you actually saw in my last game, and this was against a different guy, you can see, it's not against Worst anymore. Um, but I see that he's rolling with a couple Dart Monkeys also, so I'm a little bit worried. I assume that he's probably going to go farm, because usually if you have Dart Monkeys, it means you're going farm. Let's be real here. The, the reason that you have Dart Monkeys is because they're super cheap. Now, I learned from my other game, the last one that you guys saw, and I put my monkey a little bit further down. That way, when I upgrade him, you'll see in just a minute he doesn't see that top little corner, and so it's not a problem for me. Now this guy's rushing me with pinks. It's annoying. It's really annoying. So I send a whole bunch back just saying, yeah, I can do that too if I wanted. But uh, you can see he's killing some of me, and I don't think he's trying to actually beat me because he's not spamming them. He just sent, he sent a bunch of them, but he's not like rushing me down with them. It was just a, hey, look what I can do kind of thing, I think. And so I, I set up my sub. This way I can at least take off that first layer, slow him down, and it won't be as big a problem if he does send pinks or blacks or whatever. I also go ahead and get twin uh, twin guns, twin darts on him. I don't remember the name of it. Really good on the submarines. Um, it, it essentially makes it two towers worth because it shoots twice as fast. It's the same as having two towers shooting at the same speed. Go ahead and upgrade. I have my spike pult now. I have my farm rolling over here. But I had to work on defenses because he rushed me so hard. Yeah, well, not really rushed me, but he, he did quite a bit there. And so my spike pole's doing work here. You can see it's just crushing down the line, which is great for me. That's what I was looking for anyway. I have my dart monkey just kind of setting up. I'm going to go ahead and put in another farm here because, I mean, I can. Why not? I'll go ahead and start saving up on money. I don't need to do eco right now because I have the farms. I'll do eco later if I need, but it's not a big deal right now. So doing perfectly fine. I have everything kind of set up here, and I'm just kind of chilling out, waiting, seeing what he's going to do and what I need to do. I see he also has two farms now. I usually don't like going more than two or three farms, um, just because I feel like at that point there are better things that you could do. You could go on the offensive more. They're like, I don't know. After two or three farms, it just seems like it's a little bit of a waste to do more. Maybe if you're trying to go super late game and you're doing banana factories like crazy, maybe it'd be justified, but I, I just feel like more than two or three is not the right way to do this. But you can see we're both just hanging out. I've gone ahead and upgraded, so now I have my Juggernaut. He's firing down uh, whenever something gets close. So I have lead popping power, I have camo detection, um, and I have airburst as well as uh, intel, advanced intel on my submarine. So I have the number taken care of and I have the type taken care of. Now one thing I want you guys to notice, the whole point of this video really, is you need to be careful with what you put in here. He has good camo detection because he has monkeys and uh, the dart monkeys naturally see camo once you upgrade them twice on the left. So he, he sees camo and he's able to shoot lead. Um, once you put in those boomerang monkeys, one of my favorite things about them is they can pop any type of balloon. Um, once you put them down, they, they pop anything. Once you do the sonic boom and the, what is it, red hot something? I don't remember. But it's something like that where you can pop frozen and you can pop lead. So that's great. But I want you guys to notice something. I'm able to put in camo and I'm able to send lead. He can see camo and he can kill lead, but he can't kill camo lead. And that's something that for now I'm just kind of letting him get away with. I'm not rushing him. We're, we're both just kind of chilling, doing our thing. I'm seeing how many farms he's building up, though. He's at three and I'm like, okay, well, this isn't too bad, but it, it's starting to scare me a little bit. And in just a minute, he puts in the fourth one. And that's kind of where I draw the line. If you're putting four farms... You're planning something that I really don't want to deal with here. <laughs> and so I'm, I'm going to start freaking out a little bit. I go ahead and put in my um, monkey, and I realize, I think, yeah, I realize this is a dart monkey, and go, ah, crap, that's not what I wanted. So I go ahead and sell him in just a moment. I want a ninja monkey here because I want to be able to flash bomb. So I sell him. It was just a stupid mistake on my part. I'm sure everybody does that. When's, when's the last time you guys put down just the wrong tower? Especially the dart monkey and the ninja look so similar to me. So that's a big problem for me. But I go ahead and put him down. Now I have Flash Bomb also, just in case something happens. You can see they're just shredding through the balloons. Not a problem. They haven't even gotten to where my Juggernaut can kill them. 
round 18. Still just chugging along, doing just fine. I'm building up subs because they're able, they're really good at popping a whole bunch of different types of balloons, and they can be put in their own thing. He just put down his fourth farm and upgraded it. At this point, I'm freaking out. I don't know what he's going to do, but I really don't want to give him the chance to do it. So this game ends a little bit early because I'm scared. You can see I go ahead and upgrade one of them, um, so I'm now shooting the missiles occasionally, which I need um, just in case leads get by my flash bomb somehow. Or, I'm sorry, I'm saving up for that to be able to do it because I'm starting to freak out. His camo's getting through, not a problem. His dart monkeys are taking care of it, but he has four farms. One is banana plantation. He's getting a lot of money constantly, and he has a lot of power to be able to sell stuff. So at this point, round 20, I'm freaking out, and I've just decided that I'm going to beat him. I don't want to send Moabs. Um, a, I don't have tons of money for it, and B, I'm a little bit scared. So I go ahead and I just send uh, camo leads. He can't kill them. Nothing can. The things that can see camo can't pop lead, and things that can pop lead can't see camo. So it goes through, and it's an easy win. Just make sure that if you're going to set up towers like this, that you have the right tower set up. You can see these got through without a problem because he wasn't really thinking here. Um, but it was a really good game. Just make sure that you're very conscious of what you can and cannot pop, and don't get taken by surprise by it. And I'll see you guys later. Um, leave a like if you liked this, and maybe a comment. Subscribe if you're enjoying this. I'm putting out a lot more content, and I really appreciate seeing you guys and your support here. But I will see you guys later. <laughs>